Okay, so last time I showed you guys how to use the text to speech option or text to speak in Chrome. And this time I'm going to show, I'm going to extend upon that last one and I'm gonna introduce something called Google Lens. Now, one of the downfalls of something like uh, using that text to speech is you can't use it in certain things. For instance, sometimes it, or it won't work on an image. So today I'm gonna to show you how you guys can use something called Google Lens to have images read aloud to you. And I think the easiest way to show this is finding what I would call a book snap, uh, a screenshot or a digital representation of a book. I chose Hatchet. So you can see here, I just did a Google search of the book Hatchet and I typed in page to give some different options here. So I'm going to show you this. Although this is an app on many Android and iOS devices, it's not an app for the Chromebook yet. So um, we have to use a different way to get it, but you can access Google Lens on your Chromebook. This first way I'm going to show you is using Google Search. So I'm going to select this image right here. And when this opens up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two fingers on my trackpad and click it to bring up the menu. And I'm going to select search image with Google. You're going to see here that Google Lens pops up. What I like to do is because this is a small, um, small side window here, what I want to do is I want to select this button right here to open it up in a new tab. This is going to give me a, a larger view and make it a little bit easier to see. What you're going to notice is on the left side, you're going to have the actual image and then it's searching that image. It's finding the commonalities. You can see these are all screenshots basically of the same book. Okay, and let me move this out of the way. And down at the bottom here, you're going to see two options. You have search and we're gonna select, or it's really three, text. I'm going to click on the select all text and now I can either copy that text. So if I wanted to copy the text and put it in, let's say a Google Doc and have it read there, I can do that or I can just select listen. Thanks. So now what's awesome about that is I can have text that's inside of an image read back to me by doing those steps. I can also have it translate. You can see here that it used Google Translate. So you can see here, I have this and I can change that to Spanish. And now I have that text that was in the image translated to Spanish. So you have tons of different options here with Google Lens. You can copy the text, you can have it read to you, you can translate it. You can actually, if you noticed on the last one, let me go back here, you'll actually be able to, if I search that image, you actually can find the image source as well. So the, another side to this is actually checking the validity of that image, making sure it's a real image, um, which is really awesome as well. So by using Google Lens, you can have things read to you. The next one, next video I'm gonna show you is how you do the same, but with PDFs, and that will be using Kami.